In this video, I wanna show you how you can use calculation groups to create reusable calculations in your Power BI data model. We're gonna go through it step by step so you can follow along if you want. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this example that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple data model um, with some information about orders. So if we go to the orders table here, we've got some information about groceries which shows you when the grocery was purchased, how many and at what price, and also the cost of the sale. We have a calendar table, which essentially it just allows us to do some time intelligence calculation with it. We also have a measure table here, which I created that has some pre-created measures that I wrote by hand and also some created using quick measures without any coding at all. If you want to know how to create your own quick measures without coding, I created a video for that. So check out that video if you haven't yet. You'll see the measures that we have created here. We have the cost, which is just the cost um, in our orders table. We have the profits, which is essentially sales minus costs. Um, we're referencing the measures there. And we also have the sales here, which is essentially from the order table, the unit price multiplied by quantity. We also have some other time intelligence here that we are using. So the month on month uh, percentage change, uh, quarter on quarter, year on year. We have the to date, so month to date, quarter to date year to date and we also have running total just to show you a typical example of how you would show the sales in different uh, kind of time intelligence slices so it's great when it comes to giving some overview about the sales you have some different calculations time intelligence calculations based on sales in these different slices so the running totals months on months to date but now you want to see the same slices, but in profit and in cost. Now, how you would normally would do that is you would need to recreate all of these for profit or for cost, which would mean you'll need to create how many more measures, depending on how many you need. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You will need to create seven measures for each of these. So you would have profit running total, profit month on month, uh, same with cost, etc., etc., which can take a lot of time and having a lot of measures probably isn't the right solution for you if that's the scenario that we have. And this is where the calculation groups shine. It allows you to create a reusable code that applies to whatever measure you have in place without having to recreate new measures. Let me show you how you can start creating that. So the first thing that you need to make sure is that you need to have the tabular editor installed. I have a previous video that I covered how to install, download and install it. Um, but once you've done that, you should have the tabular editor available for you on your model. So when we go to tabular editor, it will take you to the tabular editor window. We'll go to tables. Um, you can do it anywhere. So I will just create a new. And from here, you will have the option to create a calculation group. So we'll call this uh, time intelligence because we want to do the time intelligence calculations here. And in the folder calculation items is where you will create your different calculations, the reusable code for each one. So we'll do a new calculation item. And let's say we want to get the running total first. So this is a measure that we created here. What we'll do, we will go to our model. We've already created the running total script. We don't want to just, you know, we don't want to recreate that. So we'll just copy that and paste it in our expression editor here for the running total. Now if I save it, 
what we actually want to do before that. We want to change the sales because we don't refer to a, a singular measure anymore. We don't want, we want this to be dynamic. So we want it based on whatever the selected measure is. So this is the script for that. Selected measure, you hit uh, check and then you hit save. So now that it's there, you will go back to your Power BI desktop and you'll see that because we created a calculation group, we need to refresh that table because it needs to be loaded into the data model. Now that it's loaded, you'll see that it's, it shows us a new table here with a column called name. We go add a, let's do it in a new page. We add year and month in a matrix. Let's both put them in a row. Just expand it. So now we want to add the measure that we want to do here, which is sales. So let's add sales on the values. We have the sales per year and we want to do the running total. So instead of using the running total measure, we use the calculation group here. So we put the name on the column. So you see it gives you the running total for the sales. It doesn't make any sense yet. So let me add a few more measures in the calculation group so you can understand what it's doing. Let's go back to our tabular editor. Let's create year on year percentage. Let's go back here, copy this. So you see I'm copying only the script and I'm replacing the sales, the, the references to a singular measure and instead we use selected measure. You see, if I save it, and we hit refresh here. So you'll see here that you have the running total and the year on year percentage um, on our matrix here. Uh, there's a bit something weird here, it's showing us a pound sign which is wrong so we go back here and let's fix that let's just go to year on year format string yeah maybe it's like this let's hit save huh. so that's showing us the percentage now for the year on year What's really interesting about this is because the calculation group is reusable, uh, it's calculating the running total and the year and year on sales because that's what we have in our column or in our value. So now if we want to do the running total on cost, if we add it on the value here, you will see that it gives you those uh, calculation but for that uh, measure so you didn't have to create another measure for a cost running total or a cost year and year you just had to create a time intelligence uh, calculation group i will do it with the profit as well so you see you didn't have to recreate anything and just for the sake of completeness i'm gonna try to do all of them uh, in the tabular editor i'll speed this up so that you don't have to watch all of it um, with me And there you have it. So you now have the breakdown of your uh, different time intelligence calculations in a calculation group without having to create these uh, measures one by one. Let's delete these and save you don't need them anymore you see so now you have all your different time intelligence calculations with the least amount of measures so you didn't have to create all of them as measures uh, but you can see them in the matrix here one other thing that you might want to show is the current value which we're not showing we're only showing the time intelligence so let's add a new value here uh, which is current and we will do selected measure only. So that gives you the value of whatever your measure uh, that you have. Another thing that you need to be aware of is the order 
of your measures within your calculation items. You can control it using the ordinal, but you can just drag it. Uh, if you drag this one to the very top, so that puts the current at the very top, uh, at the very beginning of the calculation group. We hit save and refresh. You should see the current values on the first uh, line. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how you can create reusable measures using calculation groups in Power BI. If you like this video, let me know by leaving a like on this video. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.